Hello there guys and ladies. Learning activity six, we're going to make calculations. Now before we start, I want to take you through something really quickly. If you look on this section here, I'll just put a board around it. I have put the different arithmetic operators that we use normally in mathematics. We have add, subtract, divide, and multiply. To multiply in Microsoft Excel, you use the star key okay if you hold down shift on your keyboard and eight you're gonna get it we have divide which we use the slash key for we have subtract which is the minus or the dash key and we have add which is plus okay you can find that on the keyboard now I'm going to do some addition so the first thing I'll do is type into the cell in which I want the answer to go please please pay attention to this I want to add 10 to 12 so 10 plus 12 the first thing I'll do is I'll put down equals because every single formula in Excel starts with equals so equals I will then click the cell C3 I'll then put in the arithmetic operator plus and I'll click the next cell that I want to add and then so this is my formula right here C3 plus D3 as you see here if I'm happy and I'm satisfied with it, I'll press enter. And as you can see, I have 22. That's how you do addition. Next, I'm going to do a little bit of subtraction, okay? I'm going to do 12, take away 12, which we all know is zero. Same thing. I will put in equals, first of all. I will click the cell of the first number that I want to operate on, and that's in cell C4. I will go and I will put in minus, and I'll click the next cell which is cell D4 and I'll hit enter and as you can see there I have 0 and this is the formula here C4 minus D4 is obviously 0 because 12 minus 12 is 0 then I'm gonna move on to divide okay sorry about that there we go in a second I'm gonna move on to divide right here I'll do the same step again I'll first start with equals then I'll click on the first cell, which is C5, slash, and click on the next cell, D5, press enter, and 13 divided by 12 is 1.08, which is true, okay? If I wanted to do some multiplication, 10 by 12, which we all know is 120, I will click on the cell in which I want the number, I'll hit equals, click on the first cell, which is C3, and I'll put in the star key to shift 8 click the cell which I want to multiply by D3 and press enter and I'll get 120 guys now the last thing I want to do please focus on this please pay attention you can format your spreadsheet any way you want okay and you can do these calculations anywhere you want watch this if I click on the bottom here and I enter the same formula as I entered here equals C3 star D3 enter I will still get the same answer it does not matter where you place your columns okay you can do these calculations so long as you have the cell reference numbers okay these are the cell reference so that's D3 here that's D5 so long as I have the same cell reference number it will still do the same thing for instance let me take this one um, here C4 minus D4, which is 12 minus 12, it gave us zero. If I scroll down off the spreadsheet, if I go down, okay, or if, even, if I, even if I go forward and read here, this cell, and I type in equals C4, take away D4, I will still get the same answer, okay? So please, now you need to go onto your spreadsheet and you need to do the calculations that have been given you on the task sheet. Remember, a formula always begins with equals and you need the cell references to do the calculations. You use a star for multiplication, a slash for division, a dash for subtract, and the plus for addition. Now please go and do it now. Thank you.